Gary Campfield took care of the rest. There's a rounder to short. Brandon Hicks is up, fires it across. That ends the game and the streak. And the Aggies, there they are, pile a dog pile of pitches. First Big 12 championship. The Aggies have won their first. They join the list. It's Monday, but this is no ordinary uh, I think we, we left no doubt on the field uh, who came out to out-hustle uh, today. We, you know, we ran the bases extremely well. We uh, took the extra bag when we could. Uh, we had a good approach to the plate, uh, pitched it well. I think we, in all uh, aspects of the game, we just uh, we did it all today. You know, as a coach, I, I've got a couple of favorite things, things that, that truly make me enjoy what I do. You know, number one is when you win a championship, sitting in the dugout and actually sitting back watching the players dog pop. I enjoy that more than anything, whether it's winning a game to go to Omaha, winning a Big 12 championship, I sit back, I don't move, and I watch our players and their excitement and their happiness. And, you know, the second most enjoyable thing I, as a coach, is sitting at the front of the bus listening to our players laugh on the way home after a win. Those two things for me are, make me really enjoy what I do. Great. Takes his practice wings. Fournay nods his head for his call from his catcher. Get it here. deep, and it's not going to be playable. Back to the wall. That's going to be over the railroad tracks. Dave wow. Carter with his fourth home run of the year, and it's a walk-off job for the Aggies. Six to five, Texas A&M. Olsen magic here no, off the bat of Dane Carter. No doubt about that one, Scott. That ball was gone the second it left the bat. That was one of the biggest home runs I've ever seen hit at Olsen Field, and I've been to a lot of ball games out here. That ball over the railroad tracks in right field, and Dane Carter, holy cow, six to five on a big, big, Big home run in the bottom of the 12th. Collard hits the ball hard and deep and way back to left, and that ball is gone. The Aggies have won it in the bottom of the 10th. Kyle Collard just cut it right through the way to left center field on the first pitch and drilled it on the left center roll for the 3 2 Aggie win. Seven. And the hats are sideways in the dugout. That uh -huh. means it's almost dog ball time. Ground ball, third base. Dane Carter even at the bag. The throw. Ball game is over. What? How about just making it three up, three down? Bring it all to an end.
The 0-2. That's a drive. And he may have hit one here. Way back. Over and out of here. The Texas Aggies are the champions of the Big 12 Tournament 2010 on a two-run homer by Brody Green. Unbelievable, Greg. That ball was elevating his eyes, and he just took a nice level swing at it and drove it over the left field wall. Off. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Bases loaded. Gonzalez at third. Arthur second. Jackson at first. The hitter is Andrew Colazzo. Canable's pitch is lined to center field. That should score a runner. It's going to score more than that. It goes over the head of Montalbano. It will unload the bases. The question is, will Colazzo come all the way? He's at third. He told him to stop, and he did. But the three-run score, the Yankees lead it three to nothing. Wow. Colazzo is running right up Kenny Jackson's back. He was thinking inside the park home run. They had to put the stop sign on him at third base. You look at Colazzo over there. He wanted to get inside the park home run. Well, championship, because they'll be in different sides of the pools. You know, you got to go in there saying, hey, we know we could beat this club. Fly ball, left field, going back for it is Arthur. He's on the track. It's all over. Put this one in the books. It belongs to Texas A&M. They win one of three, and they share the title of the Big 12 regular season. Three runs, nine hits, and one error. No runs, four hits, and no errors. Stripling gets the win. He has won 12 games and lost two. Stafford, the loss, five and three. Yeah, with that win, now he ties uh, Taylor Youngman of the Longhorns with 12 wins in the Big 12. So they're both leaders of the Big 12 with wins. They're here tonight. An impressive game. There was no scoring at all to the top of the ninth. Let's take a look at the updated standings. And as you see at the top, they are co-champs. Texas, however, regular season. And at that point, they started playing well for their last five series, and they have been finishing very strong. There's a high fly ball left field. Will the win be enough for Colazzo? It's back to the track, looking up. It's over and out of here. And the Aggies are champions of the Big 12 tournament for 2011. Andrew Colazzo with his first home run of the year. And with the pass we talked about, Greg, we win it on a home run, the Aggies. Big 12 champions, two years in a row. He redeems himself after the throwing error in the ninth inning. Andrew Colazzo with his first home run of the year picked the right spot. side step on the back for one and out at second they get it right here three and two out to right center field this ball will get down two runs will score at least runner from first on his way to third it's a double and Gonzalez drives in two to make it a four nothing AM lead and, and this is the shortstop Kenny Jackson Jackson a base hit out to left field to make it six to nothing, Texas A&M. Ten ball games. Hammered out to deep left field, and this one is at the track. It's at the wall. Goodbye. Two run homer for Adam Smith. Eight to nothing, Texas A&M. That ball was drilled and. 
3-2 pitch, here it is. Ground ball right side, this should do it. Texas at m heads to the College World Series. Celebrate for a couple days, but be prepared to get back to business as the Aggies head to Omaha. First sets now. Okert, 1 0. In the air, right field. Ooh, close play. Ross, the catch. They're tagging. And the Aggies win it. Charlie Curl safe at the plate. And Texas A&M has won it four to three. The catcher, Dylan Neal, livid. So is Sonny Galloway. The Aggies with the win, four to three, on the sacrifice fly and RBI off the bat of Cray Bratson. Scoring, Charlie Curl. The Aggies. Yeah, first pitch, Muncy turns on this one. Going back is Naquin, and he reaches up, it. and he caught that thing up against the bullpen fence in right field. Hit it pretty hard after he caught it, and that is an Olympic moment. And hit the ball to the first baseman unassisted. That's over four. Chopper, right side, coming in for it is Arthur. The underhand flip the house, and this game belongs to the Aggies. Barely. Texas sends. High fly ball. Short left. And just getting to it is Brotson to wrap up the ball game. This one's got Aggies written all over it as they clinch the series. Baylor clinches no less than a tie for the Big 12 regular season championship. And the Aggies also take the baseball portion of the Lone Star Showdown. Jack, final thoughts on this one. What was it? Here's a one-two pitch. Bang in a miss, and he struck him out. That is a no-hitter. And it is the 11th in Texas. And it makes it the history. Maroney got a lean spark stretching. The quiet stance of this guy. He's hit this one well to uh, left center field. It is going back, and uh, that just went big fly, Texas A&M. Left center field, and he just hit a grand slam home run. He just took it by a final score of 5-3. to 2-2, two -two, right here. Reached out, ground ball, base hit, Texas A&M has won the game with a dose of Olsen magic. An almost unheard of way to win a ball game. Four errors by Missouri in the bottom of the ninth help the Aggie cause. Texas A&M makes them pay. Game-winning RBI goes to Mike. First pitch. Loft it to right. Wood makes the catch, and the Aggies win game one. That's a big one right there. Texas A&M wins it. Two, two, two outs, and the one-two on the way. Swung on, lifted high and deep to left field. Bader running, running back to the track. The wall, it's gone! A three-run bomb by Hunter Melton, and boy, has this game changed. Well, it has. I mean, that was, a, that was a fastball that just came right back across the plate. We've talked about earlier where... Next pitch. Uh oh, uh -huh. oh, it's out of here. <laughs> oh. Big fly. Oh. <laughs> How about it? Back to back home run. Wow. Two run shot. Seven to five.
He's starting to make a habit of that. I like that. Yeah. Some Olsen magic in the bottom of the 11th inning. Here's the pitch. Fly ball right, yeah. down, right down the line, and it's going to easily score. Nick Banks with the winning hit. Cole Langford drew that one by Puck there at first base. And Texas A&M wins the game, 4-3, to three, wins the series, two games to one, and he is mobbed out behind second base. There's an extra attacker in the field. Three balls and a strike to Langford. Hit ball game. Texas A&M wins it, and the series is tied at one. Would be enough. We're at 11 going into the day. Gideon, Statham, and Branson to hit. Yeah. This is torched to left. Back and gone. Home run. Ronnie Gideon. First home run for the freshman from Hallsville, Texas. And it gives the Aggies a 4 3 lead. But he's aggressive, comes right at you, and the changeup's really good. They are on their feet. AM trying to win a big series this weekend. You bet. Got him. Stein's got to do the dirty work. Series is over. It goes to AM, two games to one. And this is huge for their NCAA tournament hopes. All you have to see is the reaction of those guys after the game to realize how big this is. Gets AM back to 12 and 12 in the league. Drives this one to deep right. Cook to the wall. Hits gone. Grand slam Lankford. on first and second. Nick Banks drove an RBI single to center field and now scored from second to give the Aggies a 4-3 lead. That's all the offense they would need as the Aggies would close out the Golden Bears in the bottom half as one of the wildest finishes to a game in Aggie baseball history. With a tying run caught in a rundown, Ronnie Gideon chased down the runner and made a diving tag before he got to home plate for the final out. The win set up a winner-take-all regional finale the following day. Yeah, to a 3-1 win in another classic versus the Golden Bears. And this one claimed the regional title for A&M. The Aggies were super regional fans. I don't know how many how many innings or how, how many pitches he threw. But he has tagged whoa. this deep to left. Olsen Magic there doesn't live is. on in the Ray and Knighting of the rivalry. Michael Barish, one swing of the bat, one wave of the wand, and the Magic comes down. What a way to finish the Longhorns' first trip to College Station since 2012. The Aggies 
go from stunned to elated. And the Longhorns, after that epic comeback in the ninth, fall with a swing of the bat from Michael Barish. Only fitting, Coach, that this would end with a dose of Olsen magic. Well, now this is what you don't want. There's some jawing, I believe, going on down on the field. They're trying to get everybody out of there. I think they will. Just a little brush up, and I don't think it's too serious. No, the, the Aggie coaches are getting everybody yeah, out of there. Aggie coaches are getting them in there. Longhorns need to get back. Now just two outs away. This is Connor Kaiser. And the freshman sends a line drive to center. Chorby lays it! He got it! We said the defense would be locked in in the ninth. How's this working for you, Tommy Hart? All their effort, all their focus, all their energy behind their man. And you think this dugout's fired up? One out away. Bandy's leadoff man, Jaron Kendall. Line to Sadovich. He's got it. And he's got history. Season All American, who was a shell of himself in the previous series at Florida, has two hits and he uncorks another one to right. Nick Banks has done it again. His second home run of the game. Same pitch, same spot. The Aggies have the lead. I'd like to, but I can't. Payoff. Strike three called, and the Aggies have their first ever SEC tournament title. The best hitting team in the league takes care of the best pitching team and maybe all of baseball. A 12 to 5 final. And the Aggies, because <laughs> it's coming. That's it a long way to left. Gone if it stays fair. Goodbye, home run. A three run jack for Boomer White. Six to one, Texas A&M. This ball was absolutely hitting really on the mound. Kyle, si Kyle Simon's got the win. Oh wow. man, Maroney wow. has just done it again. Oh. This senior is going out in style.
This was just a line drive 400 feet out the left center field. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I think he knew he hit it. I could have done without the bat flip. But the swing is, is gorgeous. Hands in and extension through. That's, that's the big deal. You can't pull your hands in and cut. High to left and deep. Duplantis at the wall. It is gone. A monster shot to give AM its first lead of the game. There were two right-handed hitters on this bench that surprised me at the beginning of the game just because of the way the wind was blowing. One was Logan Foster, the other was Walker Pennington, because each can do what Pennington just did for AM. Josh Smith touches one deep left center. Chorby chasing, and he gets there to end the game. And the Aggies take the series. The senior center fielder takes away extra bases and closes out an Aggie win on this Saturday afternoon. That's, a, that's the Texas version of a Bronx cheer. Love it. 3-1 is whacked down the line. Could be. Gone. Home run. Grand slam for Braden Shoemaker. I don't think he was sure at first if he was going to get credit for that. He hoped it was going to stay fair, and it did. It's 8-2. Coleman, center field, they're going back oh, at the track. Did they run out of room? Whoa, Coleman, whoa. three run shot. Aggies out in front, and the bubbles will fly. Well, he got a hold of that 400 feet, drove it out of the yard. Big hit. right there on second and third. Up the middle, he will not. Chorby scores. Here comes Bedford. The courtesy slide into home, and Texas A&M has jumped out to the early 2-0 lead. Like Wednesday. Yep. To left field. Deep and gone. Shane Vogel off the bench, over the fence. Aggies add. Sherrod strikes him out, and the Aggies around to the Super Regionals.
Second with Roth. To third, Wingate. AM wins. Getting the job done. They went to him in the bullpen and they've gone to him before and he's absolutely executed for him. Yancha into the gap. That'll land and the Aggies will take a two to nothing lead. Will they try to make it three nothing? They will. Yancha's just turning all the way to third base. He's got a triple and two RBI. Freshman matchup here. Ground ball back up the middle. It gets through. One run will score and two will score. The Aggies take a two nothing lead. Ball gets a run. We got more action here. Sloppy play. That moves for Zell up to second. Here's the bubbles. the Lone Star flag tonight. Fly ball to right field. Alante Wingate at the fence. It is oh. caught! He robs it at the wall. Alante Wingate goes all the way back to the fence. Third of the weekend. Shoemake will get there to make the catch. The Aggies will celebrate a 3-0 weekend defeating the Cougars. Chop past the third baseman. Olsen Magic is rounded third and heading home. The Aggies walk it off. Well, about two and a half minutes. fall and wow this one's launched to left by Britt gone mm. hit it right into the middle of the party I don't think that was horns down. I think we're still too early in the party for a horns down. The call goes which way. Breaking ball pounded up the middle. Coleman is there. Texas A&M with a shutout. Joe's luck goes horns down. And the Aggies will celebrate a win against their rival. Final to report to you. Tennessee has beaten Missouri and Columbia 5-4. That means at this moment, the Aggies are a half game ahead of the Tigers for that last spot in Hoover. And Will Frizzell, the power, brings the magic. His second home run of the night, his 15th of the year. And he walks.
hands off the Rebels. We kept saying first pitch swinging all night, but that was yeah. a reference to the Rebels. 